Jackie D. James over there with penis. Yo, this Cat Williams interview has got everybody shook, man. The whole industry is shook right now, man. This, man, that was, that went viral like crazy because he was speaking facts, man. He was speaking nothing but the truth. You might not like his tone or his delivery, but he was spitting pure facts. And have you noticed the comedians and the people he spoke about? That came out to respond to what he says about them. None of them actually denying his claims about them. None of them are actually coming out to say what he's saying is not true. Cedric the Entertainer came out and said, yo, that joke was my joke. And, you know, I don't even want to get into all that because people steal my jokes too. So in one breath, you're saying you are the originator of the joke. And then the next breath is saying, well, people steal my jokes too. So you're just copying to the fact you stole his joke. So it's okay for people to, for you to take his joke because people stole your joke. <laughs> you're just contradicting yourself. Ludacris came out and started rapping. Who cares about your freestyle? Someone is saying you sold your soul to get some Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> Come out and say, yo, this guy is talking crap that's not true whatever just say come on man defend yourself don't make no stupid freestyle nobody trying to hear listen to you rap he's spitting facts he's spitting facts that's why they're all scared they're all trying to defame him <laughs> ricky smiley man <laughs> Oh man, I feel sorry for him. Place in the Cedric to the entertainers was this uh this this interview was just something that this just some cat being I'm cat. I'm gonna tell you something about him. I'm sure y'all some cat. I did, I got 28 messages. I ain't even opened yet. Did he say something about me? No, <laughs> no, man. did not say. What everybody calling me for? Ricky uh, Smiley call you. <laughs> Boy, did he let Ricky Smiley have it. Man, you guys leave Ricky Smiley alone, man. He's going through a lot. He's been through a lot, man. Y'all just leave him alone. Let him grieve, man. Yeah, I got to watch this next Little man. Ricky has. Yeah. Cat, my friend. Steve Harvey is my friend. <laughs> 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 a whole lot of people don't have anything nice to say about Steve Harvey. He's just a low down, dirty, conniving man. No, no one. I've said anything nice about Steve Harvey at all. Steve is like I've said on the show before. He's very sensitive. What well, what is Wallen Wallen out? Everybody did the work, and Nick Cannon take credit for it. No disrespect to Nick, but that's what happened, right? No, Nick Cannon don't just take credit for it. Nick Cannon and them boys with him, the Feinsteins. You know what I'm talking about? Them boys. Them they people. get the money. 
Oh, they wow. get Where are you going with this, Corey? Don't start talking about them people, man. They're going to they're going to shut my whole <laughs> my all of a sudden my computer is just going to stop working. My entire equipment is just going to shut down when you start talking about them people. So <laughs> come on now, Corey. Where are you going with this now? Get the money. Everybody else get enough money to come back. To come back. We're, we're paying you enough money to buy you a ticket to come back. <laughs> so it's like a walkthrough. Like a nigga get like 3000 for a walkthrough or something. It's like it's like a walkthrough. 3000 You ain't getting 3000 <laughs> out? They not even getting three thousand from while now. You was getting scaled about nine hundred some dollars. Let me tell you something. Since we was talking about Cat Williams, one day Cat Williams came on while now after he made it. He made it rain in the place. You did. Right. You hit? I he remember that. Wanted, I remember. Cat Williams seems like a very generous person. A lot of people are not giving him enough credit. Like he adopted seven kids. He's got about eight or nine kids. He adopted seven. Why can't we focus on that? Instead of uh, Kevin Hart to come out and say, yo, he's on drugs. He's just a crazy person. Try and highlight the good this guy is doing for the community. In the place. You did. Right. You did. I he remember that. Hundreds, I remember. He threw hundreds in the air. Homie, like a bitch. I grabbed about 800 off the ground. <laughs> I might as well have had on a tutu, nigga. But oh, I, nigga. That $800 I grabbed off the ground? Yeah. Cat don't even know it. Nigga, I was in the hole. Nigga, I needed that 800 <laughs> It's a cabal. It's a, it's a consortium. They, they rock with who they rock with, and they don't with who they don't. They canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did to get <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous. But in my face, no, no, no. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I. Steve told you that he stopped doing stand-up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand-up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. True. He stopped stand-up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand-Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And why he couldn't do stand-up anymore. Imagine him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was Bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars. What? You called Ocean Eleven to get that nigga's part. That's very true. That's very true. This story has been going, this story has been going around for such a long time, man. Imagine someone that calls himself your friend. Goes behind your back and call your job. Ask, asking them to fire you and hire him. Pretty much that's what happened, man. Steve Harvey with his man wig went over to the agency or to the, the studio that was involved in, in the Ocean's Eleven uh, production and tried to get his friend, his quote-unquote friend, Bernie Mac, out so he could get in. And Bernie Max uh, talked about this a lot when it was, well, not a lot, but a couple of times when, when he was still alive about how they steal his jokes and the industry is full of backstabbers and copycats. 
remember when Bernie Mac came out and said he he's 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 joked out. It's like people are wondering when am I going to come on stage, but I've already been on stage because they've already said all my jokes. <laughs> they stole they stole everything. They stole his jokes and all, Monique and all of them. And Monique is wondering why she can't get a Netflix special because you're not funny. A lot of people going crazy. Oh, Cat Williams said this. Cat Williams. Cat Williams didn't say anything. He hasn't been saying for the past couple of years. People just weren't listening. Dream, you know, and I was with a Mexican guy and a white guy, and I said, "Man, I want to go to heaven." He said, "God, right down the road." I said, well, "How far?" He said, "Just a half a mile." He said, "But your name ain't on the list, Bernie. You know your name ain't on the goddamn list." I said, "Well, wait a minute, man. I said I'm gonna try." He said, "Well, you got one more chance to make it. If you can go down there and you ask the Lord a question and He can't answer it." You might get into heaven. I said, okay. So he looked at me. I looked at him. He looked at me. I looked at him. And I whispered, and I whispered something to the Lord. And he looked at me. And he looked up. He looked down. Then, mm, open the gate! I walked on in. The white guy said, that bullshit, man. How the fuck did he get in there? That's bullshit. He said, hey, father. What did the black guy ask you? He asked me, when was black people ever going to stick together? 